Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2023 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport SEL Premium R-Line. This particular one is tourmaline blue metallic on the exterior with Titan black and gray leather quartzite on the interior. This is a four motion unit. It only comes in all wheel drive. It features 21 inch machine black and silver alloy wheels. The much more aggressive R-Line front end with a splash of chrome the triple rib design right here that goes right into the double hockey stick headlights the drls you also have led headlights turn signals and reverse lights the front turn signals are incandescent power folding mirrors heated mirrors integrated turn signals on those mirrors silver window surrounds right here silver roof rails body colored paint below the chrome line at the base also on that bumper that nice bold line that goes from the headlights over the wheel arches into the, the cross sport flare here under the door handles over that wheel arch into the tail lights. Very nice styling cues on the car. It has that faux quad exhaust tip set up on the back just below the oversized reflector here. A 5,000 pound tow hitch with a seven pin adapter included. It says SEL V6 off to the left, four motion off to the right. Panoramic sunroof is standard. Power lift gate is also standard. Fender premium audio is also standard on the car. Let's take a look inside. Before we climb in, here's a look at the door inset here. And it's gonna beep at me because the ignition is on, but the car is off. So what I'm going to do, is I'm gonna shut off the ignition there so we have no beeping there. There's your inset right there. Contrast stitch right there as well. Arm pad right here, black trim right here and in silver tips on the window switches. You also have your power folding mirrors there. Power lift gate right there. Here's a look at the seat setup right here. It's a black leather seat that's heated and ventilated. No deletes on this car, no deleted options. This band of quartzite gray right here matches the door inset. Double contrast stitch down the side of the bolster here. It goes up behind the shoulders here. Double contrast stitch on the adjustable headrest. It's manually adjusted with that button there. Three seat memory right here power lumbar forward back up and down is handled with this button and seat back adjust right here and before we climb in here's a look around there's a look at the back seats there car seat hookups on that seat and the out the outboard seat over on this side fold down armrest in the middle the squishy yet firm and those seats are also heated and as we climb in i'm going to go ahead and hit the ignition again here and turn it on there's a look at your dash right there you have the digital dash you have vents on either side, right here and here, also over here. And these cars come off the truck with zero miles, the empty fuel range on them. Uh, and this one's going to the auto show. And part of the auto show deal is we do not put gas in them. So if there's a, a fire or anything like that, there's not a lot. To, there's not a lot of cars there that feed the fire. So that's what a did you know question. Storage bin right there. There's a speaker up there as well. It's an automatically, or I'm sorry, not automatic. It's a manually adjusted uh, heated steering wheel that's flat bottom here. It does have a flat silver finish on the spokes right here and then a splash of piano black down at the base with the R-Line badge. And as you can see down there, stainless covered pedal caps below. Um, automatic headlights over on this side. Coin box for storage right here. The radio is AM, FM, and satellite. It does have navigation on it as well. So right here, I have, uh, if I turn on the radio here, we have gesture control. As long as you see that hand right there in the corner, you can wave your hand in front of it. Your kids think you're a Jedi. Pretty cool. You do also have a backup camera that's pretty spectacular. We're going to go ahead and turn the car on for just a second here so you can see that backup camera. Turn the wheel left, turn the wheel right. The trajectory steering kicks in. You see that yellow line move accordingly. The green line signifies straight back. The red line signifies where the bumper is right there. You do also have a 360 camera. I bring that up by pushing that button there. I can touch any quadrant just like that. And it changes the camera, I touch the rooftop, and now it's back overhead again. It uses the mirror cameras, the front nose camera, and the rear camera to piece together this image for you here. You do also have park assist. Park assist, I have to put the gear, the car in gear here. And let's see here, it's not gonna do it that way. 
but you do have park assist there. I try, I'm trying to do this on the fly, guys. Um, park assist will help you per perpendicular park, parallel park, or straight in park. Um, now, you do also have App Connect on this car where you can do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or Maryland. All of those are done wirelessly. Uh, or if you need the old school connections, there's two USB C's right here, it's a wireless charge pad right here, and a 12 volt charger port right there. Carbon fiber finish across the dash, into the door panel over there, trimmed out in flat silver. In the glove box, there's your manuals, car seat protectors right there, the clip protectors, and then your tire warranties are all right there in the Ziploc bag. This one has the auto dimming home link mirror with the digital compass up there, three door garage door memory here as well, and a Bluetooth button there. That's auto dimming, a vanity mirror on each side with an LED light on each one of those, just like that black colored headliner here with a power sunshade that hides this gorgeous panoramic sunroof that sunshade blocks out pretty a pretty good amount of sunlight i push this button here there goes the panel panel for the sunroof that pane of glass stacks on top of that one right there pop-up windscreen right here in the center and then i can push push that to close the sunroof the passenger seat is also heated and ventilated there's the buttons over here on the side. If you can see those right there. Two buttons here, forward and back, and then seat back adjust with that one right there. Now for climate control, heated seats, ventilated seats are all right here. You have that on both sides. And they're three phase, so you start on high and medium and low and off. Same on this side, just like that. And then the rest of your climate controls right here. Maximum defrost, the rear defrost. Now your heated mirrors are tied to this rear defrost. There's an off button for it. The auto button adjusts it so you can have uh, whatever temperature you have it set to is what it'll cool or heat to. And then this menu button brings up this touch screen. You have air care, which is your air, air filtration system by making it active as long as your windows are up and the sunroof is closed. This little blue line is gonna expand to cover the interior here. Or just cover this guy here showing you the status of the filtration system it circul it it filters out all of the nasty air the stinky skunks the roadkill things of that nature nasty feel smelling landfill or whatever so it's not circulating in a cabin uh, you do have uh, the 12 volt charger port and wireless charging down below that uh, and then your push button start for uh, the car here and then you lift up on this guy for the electronic parking brake put your foot on a brake and push down the release you also have these different drive modes, snow mode, you have eco, normal, sport, and custom on the drive mode, and you have off-road and off-road custom, and off-road custom allows you to tweak all of these different items here. Very nice. I'm going to turn that back to the roadway there. In this storage bin, get a medium-sized person here. There's a USB-C in here as well. <coughs> There's a drop-in safe, excuse me, that you can put in there as well uh, that bolts in with two bolts and it still gives you access to this you can lock a concealed carry item in there whatever it is that you have to store cup holder light right here now i'm going to turn this off and turn the ignition back on so i'm not burning gas and we're going to go to the back here there's a look at those 21 inch alloy wheels very nice this one comes in at 54 413 extras on this one include 388 bucks for the uh, cross sport protection package. That's your monster uh, monster mats, heavy duty trunk liner, cargo blocks, uh, luggage net for the cargo area. The auto dimming mirror is 385. And then you have 230 bucks for the uh, the uh, logo puddle lights, 170 bucks for trailer hitch extras. Actually, I skipped a uh, 230 there. There's a 230 for the privacy, privacy cover for the rear hatch as well. Uh, the trailer hitch extras were 170 and 90 bucks for a roadside assistance kit. $12.95 for destination, bringing you to $54,413. Before we climb in here, here's a look at this sunshade. It only comes on the SEL Premium R-Line model for the Crossport. On the Atlas, it's throughout all of the trims. There's a look at the door inset there with the contrast stitching as well. Fender nameplate right here and storage bins right here for cups, bottles, whatever right there. In the back seat here, lots of space back here, just like a king cab or quad cab pickup truck. There's my lobster socks right there, <laughs> pretty cool. Uh, you have travel pockets here for magazines, uh, ma maps, whatever it is you're using back here. And you have vents back here in the back for your rear passengers as well. And you also have heated seats for the two passengers on the outboard seats here. Two USB-C connections right there and a three-prong plug-in right there. 
let's get some light on that so you can see that there's your three prong plug-in where you can actually uh, charge a laptop while you're driving to your, whatever your destination is there's a look up at that panoramic sunroof again over both rows of seats here's a look through from the back to the front instrument cluster right there center console shifter armrest and what have you right there car seat hookups are right here and also over here on this side fold down armrest in the middle squishy yet firm adjustable headrest on all three seats and these will fold flat let's take a look at the rear hatch there's another look at those wheels right there as you come around to the back here right between the t and the l here's a look through from the back to the front there's your giant panoramic sunroof center console and armrest right there those seats do fold flat as well back here for extra storage privacy cover right here front license plate bracket these are uh this is your roadside assistance kit here and these are two pieces of uh, carpet to bridge the gap uh, when you fold your seats down so items don't fall in between the seat and the floor back here in the back cargo blocks right there tow uh, accessories bag right there luggage net right here monster mats for the cross sport right here they say atlas right here on the side because this is an atlas and then your tow hitch extras are right here in this box and also a tow hitch cover right here beneath the floor here this is special right here there's your quick release subwoofer right there it's a fender audio subwoofer right there you just release that guy right there pull the subwoofer out and then you have your spare there the jack apparatus is off to the side you do also have bag i'm uh, sorry bag hooks right here and also right here a 12 volt charger port right there incandescent light recessed trunk light for each side over here and you have this nice track for the privacy cover here it just pulls straight through right there and there's your button for the quick release or for the uh uh trunk this is an easy open hatch too as well so a kick will actually open that now when the ignition is on uh, that that feature does not work but if you come to a, come up to a locked car you just wait, uh, kick your foot underneath and it will actually come up this car comes with a four-year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen that includes two years of free maintenance so your 10 and 20,000 mile oil change are covered by Volkswagen also if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's I will give you a third year free maintenance as well so your 10 20 and 30,000 mile oil changes are all covered Sadly, this car is not ours for the auto show. It'll be going to another dealer in the St. Louis market. I'm not sure which one, but uh, this you can order a car just like this one, or this one may be sold. Uh, so if you're interested in ordering a car or, or a car like this one, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a great day.